Hello! In this video tutorial I will explain how to create a simple project in Tesla SCADA second ID. Let's create a new project. To do this, click New menu button of the toolbar or choose New menu item. Enter project name. In this field, enter default screen dimensions. On the tab, on this tab, enter events and history database names. By default, we use SQLite database. In this field, enter notifications priority. The, prior, the events and alarms with priority below this value will raise error message. When we create a new project, by default one screen is created. Let's change its name. You can change background color, for example, more light. And you can change screen dimension. We left this one. Now let's create a server for, the, for our project. We'll use Modbus server. Enter policy name. Enter IP address of this policy. Okay, and now let's create a tag in our project. Enter name, get tag. Choose data type. We'll use table. And now you can bind bind this tag to the Modbus register to our server's register. Choose the Modbus and bind to the register. On this tab, we'll use alarms for this. We'll, we'll bind alarms for this tag. For example, if value of this tag will be higher than 90, this message will appear. Use if you want and then band. If you want to use history in your project, enable history and check this checkbox if you want to store history in database. Okay. Now let's add objects in our project. You can do this by clicking right button of your mouse or choosing new object menu item or by clicking new object button on the toolbar. Okay, let's add vertical vertical tank in our project. You can change dimension of this object. Now let's change properties of this object. On the general tab, you can see static properties of this object. You can change color, fill color, dimensions, coordinates, and angle, and other properties. You also can change name if you want. In other tabs, you can change dynamic properties of, the, of this object. Let's change filling property. Let's bind this property to the level tag. 
change minimum and maximum field if you want. Also you can change field color. Let's do it. Also bind this property to the level tag. If value of the stack will be higher than 70, the filling will change to red color. If below, the color will be blue. Okay. Now let's add other objects. We'll use slider in our objects, in our project. Bind control property of this object to our tag. Snap to ticks. Okay. Now let's add label in our project. Change font size, use border, use hidden. Let's change text input name property. Bind this property to level and bind and change text depending on the text tags value. For example, from now to 70 text will, will be normal but from 70 to 90 text will be warning from 90 to 100 will be fault right. let's change Fill color bind to the level tag depend range from now to seventy color will be green from seventy to ninety color will be yellow and from 90 to 100 color will be red okay and now change flash dynamic property for example bind to the level tag if text value will be higher or equal 90 level of the flashing okay save our project and call demo project project okay. now let's add trend in our project Add our tag okay. now let's add even stable in our project okay we can change columns this Now let's simulate our project. To do this, click Run Simulation button on the toolbar. Okay, for some reasons, normal events don't written in our events log. Let's check events level tag. Okay, we forget to do this alarm. Okay. 
okay now let's start again okay period message okay if you want to change color of the events you can do this in events table election for example i want to change not yellow choose green for privacy from 200 to 800 If you want, this message will not appear when alarms are over 20, uh, 90. You can change notification power to now to now. And in this way notifications will not appear. Now let's load our projects on the device you want to use it. To do this, start on the device runtime versions of the of Tesla SCADA second and on the Tesla SCADA ID click file load on the device. We have two devices. So, Android device and PC device. Let's load on the Android device. And now let's load on the PC device. Okay. Let's start. We run mobile device before. It's starting. And change. And Right. Okay, we finished right now. If you have any questions, please write them in our form on our website.